Welcome back. So if you typically do the grocery shopping for your family, I can tell you, you can breathe a sigh of relief because the threat of empty store shelves from an impending railway worker strike is over, at least for now. It comes after a new tentative agreement was announced early this morning in our very own CBS 46's Tori Cooper is at a rail yard in Northwest Atlanta near Howell Mill Road. Tori, this strike definitely would have had a major effect on just about all of us. Absolutely. And Brooks, to be clear, experts say if this did not happen, if we didn't get this tentative agreement for our, uh, the workers, then 30% of all U.S. shipments would have come to a screeching halt. But now that would have also been having far reaching impacts financially for families. But what I meant to say is now, as you mentioned, families can breathe a sigh of relief. After more than 20 hours of overnight negotiations. Overall, it's, uh, it's a great news. A nationwide railroad strike has been averted just in time. A new tentative agreement was reached between railway labor unions and railroad companies Wednesday night. Emory business professor and supply chain expert Nicole Osachi says a strike would have been catastrophic for Georgia consumers in almost every major U.S. industry. It would have some... Um far-reaching implications affecting firms upstream and supply chains so firms like refiners, miners, uh, heavy machinery producers, um, chemical manufacturers. On Wednesday, Amtrak shut down all long-distance routes and had plans to halt trains servicing parts of the metro Atlanta area in Gainesville. Amtrak told CBS 46 they have since restored service to all train routes following this announcement released by President Biden where he says, quote, this is a win for the economy and for the American people. Rail workers will get better pay, improved working conditions, and peace of mind around their health care cost. I thank both the unions and the rail companies for negotiating in good faith, end quote. Professor Osachi says the tentative agreement will be reviewed and voted on by members of the labor unions. But while the vote is tallied, workers have agreed not to go on strike. It's a great news for workers. Uh, they're going to see better working conditions. Now, Norfolk Southern, which is another major train company in our community that halted several freight train routes as they were anticipating this strike to happen, responded back to CBS 46 about 15 minutes ago, and they told us in part that they were thrilled with the tentative agreement. We'll continue to follow the very latest and share it with you right here. Reporting in Northwest Atlanta, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. All right, you are on top of it as always. Tori, thank you.